Hey guys, I want to talk about a thing that I thought might would help uh, some new players out because I had a friend the other day I talked into uh, playing Star Citizen and he got confused about the pledge and how they worked and he rage quit in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Other people don't have questions about it. I know when I first started playing Star Citizen, I wasn't really sure how all the pledge stuff worked either, but um, maybe this can help somebody be a little less confused and a little more comfortable with the money they're investing into the project which is the star citizen alpha so here we go let's jump right on into it one thing that you need to know is that when you decide to back the game you're going to purchase a starter pack and when you purchase that starter pack it's gonna have your game pack in it whether that's squadron 42 and star citizen the MMO or it's just star citizen the MMO and it comes with a starter ship uh, you got the Titan package for 65 and you got the $45 Mustang and the $45 Aurora, Aurora. Um, that investment is you back in the game for the first time gives you a copy of the game whatever but that you're not locked into that in any way whatsoever now you can't get your money back as cash you can't get it put back on your credit card but what you can do is if you own something um let me show you real quick you go to my hanger here and you'll see things that you own and you see this exchange right here if you click exchange on an item all right it will do what the, you hear people talk about melting a ship when you melt an item whether it's a pack or anything like that your starter ship any of that any of the, you'll see it contains whatever hit the little drop down arrow you're gonna see what is in it you know in this it's just a cutty red and a and a thing but see like I go over here my scoundrel pack it's got my uh, game pack my squadron 42 and everything in it if I melt this whole pack I lose my game package do you see what I'm saying so then I have to repurchase a game package but I know you're freaking out right there you're like what why would I want to do that well you may want to change your money over to something else but you always have the freedom to melt down things then when you melt something down you're gonna get it back in your account right here where it says store right you're gonna see uh, see how it says zero US dollar store credit it will normally say um whatever you melted to ship down what it was worth or the package or whatever that money goes right back into there and then you can go back over to your pledge store and then you can pick a different pack whenever you go to checkout this is you're gonna see a spot for credits and coupons which I'm not going to show you because I don't want you to see all my billing information and where I live and all that crap but when you go to do that you're going to see the credits and coupons drop down button in there you'll have a maximum credits which is your store credits you can type that in there and it takes it off the cost of what you're upgrading to uh, or what you're changing it to because that's not technically an upgrade right um, but that's what melting is it's taking whatever you purchased and it's applying it to your store it's so you can move your money around however you want to move your money around anything that you put your money on you're not necessarily buying that you're just donating to the project itself and the more you donate the more credit you have in the store that you can move around and purchase whatever you want with it and have access to it so say you're flying a ship and you decide you want to have access to it but you don't want to purchase the ship separately you don't have to purchase that ship se separately you can upgrade on it and it will give you the difference now let me show you how upgrading looks when we switch over to upgrading um, go to pledge store go to ship upgrades right it's going to bring up this gray screen. When you get the gray screen, you got your list of ships over here, right? You take and pick a ship. Say I'm going to pick this Ranger. All right? It's worth $35 worth of store credit. I own that. Well, I go over here and I pick what I want to say I wanted a Pisces. All right? $10 is what I 
I will owe in my cart to change my ranger to a Pisces. Does that make sense? Now, if I decide that was a bad decision, I can't downgrade back to my ranger. But if the ranger is available in the store currently, I can go just like I showed you to my hangar, hit exchange, melt it down, get the store credit back, go back over to the ranger, purchase the ranger, and then I'll also have $10 extra credit still on my account that I can put towards something else later if I decide to I changed my mind. I uh, hope that's clear how that works. That's how upgrades work. That's how melting works. And so you're not locked into your decisions. Like with other game companies, you make a purchase, you're locked into it. If you make a mistake, you feel bad about the choice you made, you have to contact, uh, you know, tech the support page and wait for emails to come back. Well, not not in Star Citizen. If it's a brand new pack, there's a 24 hour wait period before you can melt it. If it's not a brand new pack, it's something you've had for a little bit on your account longer than 24 hours, you can do it instantly. You can just undo whatever you've done and move your money around however you want to invest it in the project to have access to whatever you want to have access to at that time. So never think that, wait, do I have to buy another ship and then I have two ships, but I don't really want the two ships. No, you don't. If you are upgrading your game pack, your actual game pack, say you have the starter $45 game pack. When you upgrade that, say you upgrade from the Aurora to the Titan, right? Your game pack still has that, um, your game in there. That starter pack still has your game in there, but now it's going to have a Titan on, attached to it. If you decide, no, I didn't want the Titan. I want uh, to go back to my Aurora, and you melt that, and you go, you're gonna have to melt that, go back and buy your Aurora, because if you buy, you melt it, and then you buy a standalone ship with that credit, uh, you're gonna find that you can't log back into the game. You're gonna be, like, why can't I log back in? It's because you no longer have a game pack, so you had to go back and put some resources back on an actual game pack. A purchase that gives you access to Star Citizen itself okay so if you ever melt something and you can't figure out why you got back in the game check and see if you melted your pack if you melted your pack that's how you got it all you have to do is rearrange your funds again so that you have a game pack or purchase another game pack and that's why a lot of people they don't mess with their game pack they keep it separate they start another upgrade fund to upgrade to their other ships they keep it some people don't some people upgrade once or twice and they're done. But depending on how far you down the rabbit hole you end up on this, how much you get suckered in, um, that's up to you. That's personal uh, preference. Okay. Um, when you are in your hangar, you will see a thing called buyback pledges. I don't have any good pledges in there right now to buy back, but every quarter you get one opportunity to use a buyback pledge where you can buy back a pledge that you melted that say it was a limited pledge. Like these aren't limited. These are just stuff I bought and melted, bought and melted. Anyway, the um, recently I had a mole. When they first came out, I got a mole with lifetime insurance and all that on it. Well, I later on melted it. And then I regretted it later, decided I wanted it back. I went here, used my buyback token for that quarter, and was able to repurchase my mole with, with my lifetime insurance on it. Um, just the way I had originally bought it, even though people couldn't go buy that like that anymore. Um, that's because it was here and I had one chance to go back and use my buyback token. That's how buyback tokens work. Um, let's see, what else would you need to know about it um really that's the most important things is to understand if you melted your game pack uh understand how buy pack tokens work save those if it's something that's available on the store the way it is why would you use a buyback token on it just go back into the pledge store just go back in there and repurchase the ship that's, you might end up with a bunch of stuff in your buyback list like I just did from doing that, but you're not using your buyback token. You're using your melting and your store credits because it's available the way that it is. you had it originally, so there's no point. Use your buyback tokens wisely. 
if you have a ship that had something special like lifetime insurance or it was cheaper at the moment or whatever um use it for that if you decide to undo it that's what you use your buyback tokens for um oh yeah and also make sure you understand that you can upgrade a ship that's inside of a pack if that wasn't obvious in the video um you can upgrade a single if you have a pack that has multiple ships in it you can upgrade one of those ships to another ship and not upgrade the entire pack if that wasn't uh obvious and I really hope that this helps people not get upset and understand better how the pledges work so that they can feel more comfortable and understand what they're doing with their purchases. And I hope you guys enjoyed the new microphone too because I don't sound like crap anymore. <laughs> Alright, see you in the verse.